So, gentlemen, I urge you to deliberate most carefully before reaching a decision on so vital and momentous a question. Yes, yes, of course. Mr. President, I agree with our eminent professor of metaphysics, and I suggest that we postpone further consideration of this. No, no, definitely no. I object. I must remind Professor Pillsbury that we cannot procrastinate further. The press and public await our verdict impatiently. We must act today, now. Right. 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 Mr. President. Mr. President. After careful and scientific analysis, it is the opinion of the Department of Mathematics that Yale University can beat the pants off Michigan. <laughs> I disagree. Look at what Michigan's team did to Northwestern. Oh. And you still owe me 50 cents from that game. I do not, sir. I paid you. Never paid me that 50 cents. Well, 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 gentlemen, remember that this great football classic comes on Armistice Day, just one week before we play Harvard. And we dare not risk facing as strong a team as Michigan. We must find a more desirable opponent. May I suggest Arkansas Normal? I'm afraid not. This game is for charity. And we cannot select too weak an opponent, or no one will come to see it. <laughs> then, uh, how about Nebraska? Oh. Well, sir, we've decided on the University of Texas. Texas? Yes. Will you see that an invitation is sent and that the newspapers are notified? Yes, sir. Thank you. Vacate, son. Texas. The game won't draw flies unless the players bring their horses. Look it up for me, will you, Freddy? Look what up? The address of Texas. The address of Texas? Texas University, you flathead. Oh. There's two of them. Which one do you want? Yale University takes great pleasure in hereby inviting you. What? Which one? Texas University, I told you. Prairie, Texas. P-R-A-I-R-I-E. <laughs> Texas. Hey, we ought to have the new coach look you over. Don't worry, he will. Remember, he's married. And you know what football coaches' wives are like. I'll say, they think a forward pass is something a girl shouldn't make it a boy. Hey, Zeb, the Fort Worth train on time? Maybe. Maybe when she gets in. Aiming hey, to go someplace? No, we're meeting a new football coach. He's coming all the way from New York. Boy, we're going to have a team this year. We're going to put TSU on the map. <laughs> Looks like it's fixing to rain. We ought to make him cheerleader. <laughs> See anything of Biff Bentley? No. Fine thing if the captain of the team isn't here. We won't have much of a captain if Sally Saxon doesn't let him alone. Oh, here's Biff now. Our captain's tackling awfully high this season. The new coach will fix that. Hiya, fellas. Sorry I'm late. Flat well, tire. I see you brought it with you. Hello. Hello, honey. Just talking about you. And all the time I thought it was your engine knocking, darling. Hey, you two will have to cut that out. Jealous, Chippy dear? Remember, Biff's in training. Biff doesn't need any training. It's perfect now. You'll all have to toe the mark this season with a new coach. Suits me as long as he can teach us football. He will. Boy, I sure had a tough time knowing him away from Flushing. Flushing what? Flushing Long Island and no wisecracks. <laughs> <laughs> Are you packed yet, sweetheart? Come on, stop kidding and step on us. What the? Oh, excuse me, darling. Now listen, don't pull any of those offside plays on me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Sorry? Not half as sorry as you're going to be for dragging me out here through this forsaken desert. Flushing was a heaven compared to this. Are you sure you didn't join the Foreign Legion? Now, what's wrong with Texas? Look at that sky, that sand. You can have it. I'll take Coney Island. The wind, the wide open spaces. Ah, 
That's wide enough. You can shut it now. Where men are men. Yeah, and I'm stuck with you. And you're stuck with... Oh, there you go again. Always belittling. Look here, Betsy. I'm going to be a big shot down here. What will people think of a football coach whose wife is always... Go on and finish dressing. Look, you can't talk to I me I said like... finish dressing. Well, that's different. All right, all right. Prairie, next stop, Prairie. Come on, oh, let's hurry. What we've always needed is a two-fisted coach who could give it and take it. Now, at last, we've got one. Here she comes. Oh, boy, come on. Come on, we're in. Hurry up. Oh. Hey, that must be them. Hey, here they are, fellas. Hey, Mr. Winters. Mr. Winters? Mr. Winters? Yeah. How'd you get? I'm Carson, athletic manager and publicity director for TSU. Pleased to meet you. Hi. My name is Winters. <laughs> Uh, I suppose this is Mrs. Winters? Well, if Winters comes, can Mrs. Winters be far behind? <laughs> <laughs> May I present Miss Watson, Miss Jones, Miss Saxon, and Tommy Barker? And this is Biff Bentley, our captain. Hi, uh, my name's Winters. Oh, on behalf of the faculty and student body, I want to welcome you both to Texas State University. And we hope that as coach of the football team, you will bring success and glory to TSU and to yourself. <laughs> I want to thank you, fellows and girls. And on behalf of Mrs. Winters and myself... You can leave me out of this. You can leave me out. I want to say that it's a great deal of pleasure. I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> well, the car's right over here, Mr. Winters. Oh, fine. You know, I'm going to be very happy down here. Well. And I think we're going to have a great season. You look like first-class material. A rough-and-ready bunch of youngsters who aren't afraid to go in there and fight. I've started seasons with worse-looking players and turned them into champions. With your brawn and my, uh, experience, we'll be a tough outfit to beat. I want to get to know all you fellows personally. And I want you all to know me. Say, they look pretty thin. What's the matter, diet? Oh, they play a lot better than they look, Mrs. Winters. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, sure, move over. You see Biff Bentley there? Why, he was all-state fullback last year. He's great. He can pass, kick, and run. A real triple threat man. Hmm, got anybody else that's good? Well, we will have when Mr. Winters gets through with him. He's gonna do big things here, Mrs. Winters. You know, we got as much confidence in your husband as you have. Yeah. I hate to talk about myself, but... Last year in Flushing, where I turned out, as you might have heard, one of the greatest, one of the... Just a minute, fellas. Excuse us, folks. <laughs> Pardon us. What did I say now? Nothing. It's what you were going to say. Listen, I want you to find out something. What? When does the next train leave for New York? Why? Why? You're no magician. The day of miracles has passed. Now go home and pack your toothbrush and let's go back to Flushing. Wait a minute. Go back there and coach those high school kids again? Here I got a chance to coach a college team and get myself a reputation. Yeah, a reputation that'll keep you out of a job for the rest of your life. You can't make a team out of that herd. I can't, hey? Listen, in my dictionary, there's no such a word as can't. Braun isn't the only thing that wins football games. It takes brains. At last we agree on something. Now let's get out of here while we still have the fan. Hey, Chip! Hey, Chip! Yeah, here I am. Chip, read that. Woo! What is it, Chip? What is it? Yow! Oh, oh, yeah. Look, Mr. Winters, look! Yale University cordially invites Texas State University to play its football team on Wednesday, November 11th. Yeah. Yeah. Say, is this on the level? Sure it is. Gee, they must have known you were coming down here, Mr. Winters. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll wire an acceptance right away. <laughs> Just a minute, just a minute, fellas. Now, Yale's got a pretty heavy team. After all, I'm no magician. The day of miracles has passed. You can't expect Wait to take a, a team that's... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean, can't? Why, in our dictionary, there's no such a word as can't. 
Brawl ain't the only thing that wins football games. It takes brains. Yeah. Send that wire to Yale. Tell him that I... That... that, that uh... Tell him that we accept. Yeah! Sparks, you were instructed to invite the University of Texas, not Texas State University, you confounded idiot. I'm sorry, sir. I could withdraw the invitation and send another to the University of Texas. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, we can't do that. That would be an obvious insult. Mm -hmm. Professor Pillsbury is right. Yes, yes, yes. I find Texas State hasn't won a game in two years. A fine opponent for a big charity game. We'll be the laughing stock of the nation. Young man, I must ask for your resignation. Just a minute, Dr. Burke. May I say a few words? Three teams have come out of the South, teams that the North never heard of until they played famous Northern Elevens. Remember Center of Kentucky when it played Harvard? Well, publicity made those games interesting, and publicity can do it again. Why, I know all about this Texas State University team. You do? Of course. They're light and fast, and they play a brand of football we don't see up here. They're tricky. They're unorthodox. They throw that pigskin around like an apple. Gentlemen, it's David and Goliath. Little David from the south and big Goliath from the north. Give me a chance, gentlemen. Give me a chance. I'll build this game up to the point where everyone in the country will be fighting for tickets. It's a natural. Sparks, I don't think you know a thing about Texas State, and I'd advise you not to try and find out. But I do like your imagination. Now you go ahead and let it run wild. Thank you, sir. Thank you, gentlemen. All I can say is, watch the sports page of your favorite newspaper. <laughs> position she plays on the team. She's the drawback. Little student, before we hear any speeches and before we introduce the new coach, what do you say we have a little music? of knowledge today. Though our English marks are zeros, the movie heroes teach us to say. You're slightly terrific, speaking specifically, slightly gigantic, mean it romantically, more than stupendous. My love's tremendous for you. No star in a picture could be so glamorous. You're such a mixture of everything amorous. What a construction, a major production, that's you. I saw a preview of you. You made a hit from the start. Let's sign a contract. 
track for two. You'll be the star of my heart. You're slightly terrific, speaking specifically silver colossal. Suit my philosophy, being specific. You're slightly terrific to me. This is the biggest day in the history of our alma mater. From this day on, there's only one thought in the mind of every man and woman at TSU, and that is, beat Yale! <laughs> I don't know how we happen to be honored with the invitation to play Yale, but, well, I have my suspicions. <laughs> and the man who I think is responsible for the invitation is the man who is going to turn that invitation into the greatest football victory in the history of Texas. Do I have to tell you who he is? You tell me! Come on, everybody, let's have three for Coach Slug Winner! Coach Slug Winner! Rock, 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 Coach Slug Winner! Yeah! Now, folks, we have a little number written especially for tonight, sung by the boys who wrote it. Do you want to hear it? Yeah! Plans that men and mice make very often go astray, and so although unto the present things what she yes, you look pleasant. Who knows what tomorrow's at to bring? We must be prepared for anything. So if the team looks tragic and the coach is not a big sensation, we have a word that's magic. It'll help us out of any situation. We tried it today and found it okay for chasing our troubles away. When the jitters begin to get you and you're feeling kind of blue, you'll find you can lose the jitters and blues by going like this. Woo-hoo! Though at first you'll say it's silly and you mightn't believe it's true. Just try it and see how happy you'll be the minute you say woo-hoo! When things are tough, it's true enough that life is hard to endure. But there's really nothing wrong with you that a little woo-hoo will cure. So when all your friends desert you and your creditors start to sue, stand up on a chair, do this to your hair and holler with us. Woo-hoo! We are found in every pasture where a herd of cattle browse. They never say moo. They holler woo-woo. That's why they're contented cows. It's a hen that's in your barnyard. Hoop lay eggs, you're in a jam. But you know what to do. Just holler woo-woo. And then you lay eggs with ham. If someone steals your wife away, alas, and also a lack. Be careful, don't yell woo-woo. Too soon he's liable to bring her back. Papa the young was not surprised when baby's number one and two. But at three he said no. Or he said whoa. At five he said woo-woo-woo-woo. You'd never suspect the silly effect a little woo-woo can get. They use the phrase in olden days and it hasn't failed us yet. Napoleon's the greatest soldier history's ever known. It came, he conquered the bloom when world entirely on his own. He did all right in many a fight till the night at Waterloo. And what licked the great Napoleon there was Wellington yelling woo-woo. 
When Homer scribbled a poem about the glorious Greece of old. He said the Greeks had a word for it, but the word was never told. So we took books in ancient books, and we finally found it true. That the Greeks did have a word for it, and the word they had is woo When Romeo met Juliet that very romantic night. We'd like to describe a scene for you that Shakespeare didn't write. The moonlight shone and all alone on the balcony stood the two. So we looked at her and she looked at him and both of them said woo When Mr. Gloom pops in your room you'll never come to harm. If you'll always grin, hold up your chin and remember the magic charm. Though the odds are all against you with a team so green and new. If you fear that you'll fail to win over Yale, you know what to do. Our professor, we've got a problem. X plus Y is 42. We subtract it and then divide it by 10. And what have we got? A woo woo. I'm so surprised to realize how strong this habit can be. Why, the French are saying woo woo today when they formally said wee oui, wee. Oui. So if ever you get in trouble, what's the word to put in your groove? Is it ho ho? No, no. Hey, 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 hey. Then give us the old woo woo. Woo woo. That's it. Woo woo. That's it. Woo woo. Spirit, fellas. Keep it up and we'll lift the world. Well, that's all. Good night, everybody. <laughs> You won't mind if I don't take you home, will you, Laura? I've got to hurry to town to the newspaper office. You run right along, dear. Don't let me interfere with your work. Well, you know nothing else could keep me away from you, beautiful. You want to know something else? What? Can you keep it a secret? Uh-huh. I love you so much, it makes me quiver all over. <laughs> and I don't care who knows it. Try that number 16 play again. And no fumbles this time. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. Twenty-one, thirty-eight. What's the matter with you? Can't you hold under the ball? And who, may I ask, is that big lummox? That's my brother, Elmer. Oh, well, never mind, honey. There's one in every family. I'll have you know Elmer is the best basketball player in this whole state. We've got a great basketball team. Yeah, I haven't lost a game in five years. Basketball. That's a big help. How's your domino team? more basketball players in that alleged football squad? Yeah, there's four of them. There's Biff Bentley and Connors, Link and Mather. Uh-huh. Excuse me. Hey, Slug! Come here! Oh, okay. Put him through that last play again, Biff. Come on, fellas. Get in there. That was terrible. Go. Hurry up. What do you want now? Have you read this article, stupid? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was very flattering. Don't you realize there's a sensational idea in what it says? You've got a lot of great basketball players out there. Yeah, but I'm trying to teach them to play football. You've got to teach them to play basketball football. I know. Basketball football? Right. Oh, listen, honey, do you feel all right? Maybe you better go home and lie down for a while. This Texas seat has got you. Listen, love, there's nothing wrong with me. It's you. Here's the answer to all your problems in black and white, and you're too dumb to see it. All right. What do you want me to do? I want you to practice what they preach. Will you quit talking riddles? Look, you've got four great basketball players. Make them your backfield. They're used to heaving a basketball to each other. Let them do the same thing with the football. Say, there may be something to what you say. There's everything to it. Use your brain. Don't buy a lot of screwy passing plays. Let them toss the ball around and run wild. It's your only chance. Can't you see? Yeah. Honey, this is the greatest idea you've had since you asked me to marry you. <laughs> Boy, did you see that play? Nobody will stop him. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. This team will be the talk of the country. Yeah, and you'll do all the talking. And I'll do all the... Say, it's new. Where did you get the idea, Mr. Withers? Oh, it's... Uh, it's from something I picked up at Flushing. <laughs> Boy! Oh, babe! <laughs>
cooler in here, isn't it? It's cooler outside. Want to go for a ride on my new bus? If you don't go too far. Hey, Sally. This will warm us up if it gets chilly. Why, the idea of you two kids drinking and right out here on the campus. Why, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Hmm, gin. What do you expect for nothing, champagne? Listen, everybody, listen, please. We're going to settle something once and for all. Will you gather around here? Come here, Tommy. Come Come quiet. This is very high class. Go on. On a bright right September morning, back in 1922. When our parents told us we could go to dear old TSU. We bought freshman caps and pencils, and we learned the college cheers. <laughs> and we've loved our alma mater through these happy 14 years. We'd rather be in college than any place we know. Cause they went through a TSU will have no place else to go. It's great to be in college, it makes us use our beans. You've no idea what we learned last year from campus slot machines. Though it's a shame promotion came to spoil our freshman days. We're sophomores now, cause freshmen look so silly with two pays. It's great to be in college, it's too, too, too divine. As the Greeks would say, it's too sure gay, which in English means it's fine. Give a lust each year for freshman year and the days of old lang syne. We graduate from Texas State, but why leave here and suffer? With millions out of work right now, we'd only make it tougher. We could be famous doctors like the Mayos who amaze ya. But what's the use? You cure some goose and then he never pays ya. We might be brilliant lawyers settling other people's grudges. We know the law, but that's no good, cause we don't know the judges. As plumbers, we'd be awfully dumb, because we'd never learn to plumb. A dentist life would please us more, but drilling teeth is such a bore. We thought of aviation, but that's one thing we can't go for. Cause we get busy when we're only standing on a sofa. We'd like to join our fathers in their factories, but it's funny. They claim they don't need college men to help them lose their money. Now farming might be charming, that's a fact that we're allowing. But farmers gave up farming since they started on the plowing. In politics, you're bound to fail. You run the bank, you go to jail. There's nothing else we'd like to do. And that's just why we're telling you. We'd rather be in college, we're glad we had no choice. For if we should be with the CCC, it'd be a whole lot worse. We love the college dances, they've got that certain flair. When it's crowded, smoke gets in your eyes and drunks get in your hair. We join the gym and learn to swim, and if we have cares to drown, our swimming comes in handy, we know every dive in town. So drink a toast in Texas, the apple of our eye. If we have our way here, the place we'll stay, and we'll never say goodbye. With a college song and a beard that long We'll be sophomores till we die Well, folks, we got enough money to send the team and the band, too. That's swell, Chip. You know, I like music with my touchdowns. Yippee! Excuse me, would you please? Yahoo! Whoopee! Whoa! She floats through of ease of a daring young girl on a, the flying trapeze. Oh, her movements are graceful. Get down. Get down. Let go, let go. What's the matter with you? Oh, is that what you call a tackle? A fine coat you are. Listen, you've been drinking, eh? What are you doing, trying to ruin me? Remember, you're my wife. Oh, uh, why did you have to remind me and spoil my whole evening? Oh, now listen, Bessie, I have a certain... Professor Barton would like to see you. Tell him I'll be right there. All right. Bye, Chippy. 
listen. Now stay here. Don't go away. I'll be back and get you. Oh, you run along and don't worry about me. If your team can hold Yale as well as I can hold my Shh. liquor, then... about Biff yet? Not, Not a worry. thing. I'm afraid Bentley won't play any more football this year. He has a fractured leg. Oh, oh that's Everything's going to be all right. Oh, come on, honey. After all, Biff isn't the whole team. You're wrong, Laura. He is. Without him, they're a bunch of scrubs. Oh, so sorry. My name's Herbert Terwilliger Van Dyke. Oh, too bad. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I, I was planning to enroll here. Uh, could you direct me to the Delta Delta Pie House? Well, are you a Double Delta? Sure. Well, hello. Glad to know you. Well, the house is right across the campus, two blocks down. Too bad you didn't get in sooner. You missed the football rally. Football? A capitalistic device for the exploitation of the masses, fostered by the meatpacking barons to promote the sale of pigskin. But the time is coming. Oh, well, I'll see you around sometime. <laughs> Is he all right? Sure, he's all right. He's oh. fine. He's wonderful. Only his leg ain't feeling so good. What's the matter with it? Not much. Just busted, that's all. Bust? Oh. Fine thing. I take my wife to a dance and she goes around breaking people's legs. Well, I didn't do it on purpose, did I? I told you I was only showing Biff how to block. How did I know that I... 25 men on the squad and you had to pick on my best player. Why didn't you break your own leg? Or even your neck? All right, if that's how you feel about it. You're darn right that's how I feel about it. And the next time you meddle my business, I'm going to send you back to where you both... What are you doing? Oh, oh, now, wait a minute. Let me alone. I'm going back home. Oh, now, listen. Don't be like that, babe. You can't leave me alone. You know I can't get along without you. You'll have to. But I can't. Honest, honey, please don't. <laughs> oh, why don't you listen to reason? We're pals, aren't we? I need you. Honest, I do. Well, do you promise not to talk to me like that again? Sure. I didn't mean it. You know how it is. How would you feel if just when you build up a great team, some stupid, half-witted idiot came along... Idiot! And... That settles it! What's the matter? You can't call me a half-wit. For years I've been trying to help you to get to where you are. I didn't mean to... And what do I get for it? You wish I'd break my neck. Oh, no. Oh, I, I know. know. I know. You want to get rid of me. No, I didn't say anything. Of the... You wish the mind were dead. Oh, no, honey, I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. Go answer the doorbell. All right, I don't know what I did. Hello, 
Hello, Chip. Glad to see you. Come on in. Oh, come on, Coach. Don't take it so hard. Accidents will happen. Hello, Chip. Hello, Mrs. Winters. Look out. She might break your arm. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Coach? Maybe we better cancel the Yale game. Oh, no, you don't. Listen, Chip, can't we find someone to take Biff's place? Well, there's a peach of a player up at Fort Smith who was coming here, but he wanted us to pay him. And of course, we couldn't do that. That would be unethical. Hmm. Well, it's been done. What are you doing, I... trying to make more trouble for me? Now, you keep out of this. I was only suggesting. Where are you going? To the drugstore. Walk me down, Chip? Certainly. Uh, can I bring you anything? Yeah, a ton of aspirin. Where are you going to get the headache? In my head. There you go again. Say, Chip, what's the name of this play you were talking about? Stanley Russell. Oh, but it's no use, Mrs. Winters. We can offer him money. You don't have to. You just let me give him a sales talk. There's no kid that's going to turn down a chance to play against jail. Where's your car? Oh, it's laid up. Can you borrow one? Oh, I think I can. Laura has a car. Then get it and come back here as fast as you can. Listen, do you want to beat Yale or don't you? I'll be right back. Remember, not a word to his nibs in there. I get it. Hurry! This is the place. I'll wait here. All right. Now, listen, Chip, you let me do all the talking, you understand? All right. Uh, pardon me, does Mr. Stanley Russell live here? Is he in? Well, do you expect him back soon? Well, uh, is there anybody else home? Thanks, Chatterbox. We better sit down here and wait. Hey, did you ever hear a tune on a harmonica called a fox chase with the dogs and everything in it? A fox? No, we haven't. <laughs> three different ways and end up playing with his nose? With his nose? I'm a heavy sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> you all stop for melons? Well, no, not exactly, but it's an idea. Are they nice and ripe? They ain't nothing else but. All right, give us three. Say, 
Jane, can he do that again? Sure enough. Just keep your papers on him. Your brother, I want to talk to him. Amos, come and run it. He can run powerful fast, too. He ought to. He's got the biggest feet in Craw County. The bigger the feet, the better the kick. Hey, are you thinking of... Brother, I'm not thinking, I'm praying. <laughs> Don't be scared, Amos. They're friendly. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Glad to meet you, Amos. <laughs> Why? Now, how'd you like to go to college? What fur? I ain't done nothing. It's a chance to get an education, and it won't cost you a cent. Yeah, we'll get you a scholarship. <laughs> All that for free? Absolutely. No fooling? Cross my heart. Oh, shucks. I got enough book learning. <laughs> yeah. You hate neither! Shut your mouth before I smack you down. You could study agriculture, Amos. What I want with that? I'm going to be a farmer. You can meet some nice girls at college. Oh, shucks. <laughs> oh, I'm just scared of girls. I ain't not. I could introduce you to a lot of lovely girls. With shoes on? Sure, and stockings, too. <laughs> oh, gee whiz. Does this here college place give folks singing lessons? Oh, yes, we have a fine department of music. And they teach hog calling. Amos, you're a going and I'm a going with. I aim to learn to sing proper. Now, look at here, Sari. Now, you know how I can sing. Do you all want to hear me? Oh, yes, dear, but not now. Come along now, Amos, so I can fetch my Sunday dress. I allows how you better take your shoes along. Huh? Don't you think? Oh, yes, by all means. Come on. We'll <laughs> yeah, be right uh... back. Oh, please, hurry. <laughs> oh. Bessie! <laughs> Wait a minute. Where were you last night? Oh, Nick's on the drama. Amos, come here. This is it, Amos. Isn't this a great place? <laughs> hey, I want you to meet my friend Amos. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by keeping my wife out all night? Huh? What's the matter with you? Have you gone crazy? Give me that football. Come here, Amos. Yeah, come on, Amos. Don't be afraid. There. Here. You see this? Uh-huh. It's a football. Yeah. I've heard tell of them, there things. Go ahead, throw it, Amos. Yeah, here. It ain't got much heft to it. <laughs> Where'll I heave it to? Oh. You see that light down there? Uh-huh. Throw it at that. <laughs> Go ahead, throw it. What's the matter? Oh, shucks. What's wrong, Amos? Amos wants to know if and it's all right if and he takes off his shoes. Tell him he can take off anything he wants. Go ahead, Amos. <laughs> I kind of like to feel my toes get a hold of the earth. That's perfectly <laughs> all right. Go ahead. What's the matter now? I'm scared I'll bust that light. You do and I'll eat that football. <laughs> Go ahead, Amos. Show him. Has someone got a ball? <laughs> Here. Try that other light. Go ahead, Amos. Supposing I bust that one, too. It's okay. This one's on the house. <laughs> Come on. Give him a little room, boys. Oh! Hey, brother, you're a whiz. Oh, torn nothing. That's a big light. <laughs> can sing. You want to hear me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, not now, honey. We found him in a melon patch playing quarterback for a bunch of cantaloupes. Boy, if this is a dream, don't wake me. Say, he's better than Bentley. Sure. Certainly. You know, 
Now, don't you go trying to teach him how to play football. You better hurry up and enroll him. Enroll him? Holy smoke. What's the matter? I wonder if he's eligible. Oh, sure he's... Certainly he... What? Oh. What a break. We finally find the greatest football passer in the country, and he can't get into college. <laughs> and this stupid has been here seven years and can't get out. <laughs> Brothers and comrades, read these carefully. A message of vital importance to the collegiate youth of the nation. What's this? Read it. Are you fellas socially aggressive? <laughs> He's socially offensive. Oh, get out of here. What are you doing with this? Spreading the message of intellectual freedom. This might get you into trouble. We martyrs fear nothing. I spent two months in a jail in New Jersey. What for? I crashed a brick through the window of a bank. The capitalistic faculty at Bradley expelled me. But I shall carry on here. Tomorrow, after I've enrolled, my work begins in earnest. You haven't enrolled yet? No. Have you got your credentials? Oh, yes. They're in perfect order. You bet. Anybody could get in college with credentials like these. Boys, take good care of Herbie. TSU needs him. Brothers, I can't tell you how delighted I am to find myself among such splendid, intelligent sympathizers in our cause. The time has come! When the Hello? The Hello, is this Judge Fleming? Speaking. Judge this is Chip Carson. Look, would you settle a little argument that we're having here? Well, what is it? Could a fella get 60 days for tossing a brick through the bank window? You know, like, say, the big plate glass one on College Street. That's just exactly what I'd give him, 60 days. Fine. Thanks, Judge. Thanks very much. <laughs> hey, Red, Jimmy, come here. Come here, quick. Listen, fellas, all we gotta do is get this... Read these carefully, boys. We are the ri rising generation of metal giants who will loose the ties that bind us. As sure as my name is H. Terwilliger Van Dyke. Wait a minute. What did you say your name is? H. Terwilliger Van Dyke. Can you prove it? Sure he can. Show him your credentials. Take a look at those. H. Terwilliger Van Dyke? H. Terwilliger Van Dyke? Why, that name sounds vaguely familiar. Oh. So you're the guy they sent to try and help us start the revolution. Who? You? Me? Yes, you. Not me. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Now, don't deny that you're the guy they sent to start the revolution. Who? You. Me? Yes, you. Not me. Oh, yes. Oh, no. We need a leader with a brain like yours as the moving spirit of the faction. Oh, yes, we wait till the time was ripe, but tonight we're going into action. The rich, the more shall bleed us. Van Dyke is here to lead us. Stop belling, stop belling. Our chief has come and freed us. Down with everything. That's the flaming creed of one. The anti-super-poop-a-doop-a-commu-bulture-radical Down with everything Loosen your libido with the contra neo geo -O demi public radical You said you're red, that's what you said But we said you're not red enough We want you as a brother Cause we're all against one another Down with everything That's the burning slogan of the anti super poop a doop a commu bulture radicals At last we found a man of steel To lead the cause to victory Thumbs down on all the classes. We must protect the masses from monarchy and anarchy. We'll, we'll turn, turn things upside down again. Should we pay tax and break our backs while comrades sit and suffer? No. Should we have pious scotch and rye, which they don't have enough? No. The rich get this, the poor get kids, which makes it four times tougher. But comes the revolution and let them all eat cake. Hey. And we stand here as thousands cheer and happy days are brewing. No. If you should fail to land in jail, do we know what we're doing? Doing. No, we just forgot exactly what it was that we're pursuing. But comes the revolution, and everything is changed. Make up your mind, is it yes or is it no, sir? You're the boss, and you must show it. Now the time is drawing closer. Get the brick, he's gonna throw it. 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 Get the brick, I'm gonna throw it! Now, no! with everything, nothing ever satisfies the anti super poop a doop a commu vulture radical. Down on everything, even we are 
our self to spy the cut, the fassy, streamlined chassis. Who knows what's a nautical? Three cheers for Van the Superman. He loves the proletariat. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Rebba. Rebba who? Rebba who? Revolution Down with everything. That's the burning slogan of the anti super pooper duper con you bunch of radicals. Remember, in case you're arrested, your name is John Smith. Right, and tonight, John Smith makes history! Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Call the police. <laughs> If I hadn't have known who you was. Me neither. <laughs> Where'd you get all them store-bought and clothes, Sari? Laura gave them to me. She did? She's awful nice, Amos. Shh. My name ain't Amos. Tis, too. Tain't another. Not no more. Then what is it? Herbert. Herbert, um, uh, what's it say there? Chip wrote it down for me. Herbert Van Dyck. Dyke. Dyke, that's it. Herbert Van Dyke. Well, call my hogs. <laughs> Ain't that a name? Where'd you get it? Chip give it to me. For her to play this here football with. Then my name's gotta be Van Dyke, too, ain't it? Mm-hmm, uh -huh, I reckon so. Come on. Van Dyke. Gonna get me a high-toned front handle for that. I got it! Huh? Murine. Murine? Well, that's right fancy. Where'd you get that? Off in a bottle. <laughs> You're not kidding. Hello. <laughs> What's the matter? He's cutting in. I'll have to dance with him. With both of us? No. Huh? We'll dance around and you cut in on us, see? Oh. Oh, shucks. I thought you didn't want to go to this dance. I changed my mind. Don't kid me. You fallen for that hillbilly just because he got his picture in the paper. Oh, have I? Guess I better take this back to the jeweler. For me? It was. Oh, Morty, darling. Big boy. 
Having a nice time? Well, I was, but I'm a getting kind of tired. I reckon I'll go on home. Where's Sally? Oh, I don't know. Go get it. Oh, Mr. Van Dyke. Huh? You haven't danced with me yet. Well, gosh, I don't feel much like dancing no more. Where's Tommy? We want the bell bowl. Come on, the bell bowl. I can't do no newfangled dancing. Oh, come on, it's easy. Pacific, his Pacific Ocean has a different and terrific motion. At a glance, he'd fall for a dance. We call the Balboa, the Balboa. It's a dance that had to click. At Balboa, ah, Balboa. Take three steps and then you kick. You can't do that, Amos. Yes, I can. Folks like me and Sari don't belong here no how. I'm a waiting for her now. As soon as she gets here, we're tracking back home. Now look, Amos. You wouldn't throw us down like this, would you, old man? Everybody's depending on you. Well, we can't get along without you, Amos. Oh, I reckon some folks around here can get along without me. Who? What do you mean? I'd rather not say. It's, it's kind of personal. Why, well, it isn't Sally, is it? Well, I ain't saying it is, and I ain't saying it ain't. Amos, why, that little flirt is nothing but an ordinary little... You shut your mouth, Chip. You can't talk that away about the gal I love. Now, you be getting on out of here. Well, Amos, I didn't mean that... I said you get. Hi, Chip. Hi. Come in. Oh, hello, Mrs. Winters. Hi. Is the coach in? Why, yes. Oh, hello, Chip. Bad news, coach. Amos is going home. <laughs> I thought she's... What? <laughs> Don't break up house yet. Why is he leaving? On account of Sally. She gave him the air. Well, can't you make her listen to reason? She won't budge. And what's more, she knows who Amos is and threatens to spill the beans. There goes Yale. It's the jinx. I give up. We can't give up. You city people don't realize what this Yale game means to our little college. 
It's more than just a football game. It's our chance to show the whole country that a college doesn't have to be big to be good. This isn't only TSU's fight. We're fighting for all the small colleges that haven't got thousands of students and millions of dollars, but are just as good as your Yales and Harvards and Princetons. And they're all watching us and pulling for us. We can't let them down. We gotta win. I'm with you, son. Nobody's quitting now, not after that speech. It's a lucky thing for him you're not selling pianos. Come on, stupid, think of something. We've got to keep Amos here. How, by breaking his leg? Don, little flirt. She even flirted with you at the dance. Yeah, but I didn't flirt back. But you will. That's it, I've got it. What do you mean? You're going to take Sally up, take her out, and make love to her. <laughs> I'm... Who, me? What for? Leave that to me. You just make love to her. Oh, but I can't do that. Besides, I'm... I'm out of practice. You're telling me. Well, what's your idea, Mrs. Winters? Stick around. You learn something they don't teach in college. Gee, I never won a football game this way before. Oh, Bessie, honest, I don't want to do this. You'll do it and like it. All right. What's Sally's address? Well, she lives on Bird Street. I think the number is 1216. It's 1218. things, baby, but oh, you're so doggone cute with it all. I like to clip your wings, baby, you're flying so high you do for a fall. We'll give him a little time, not too your much. Your attitude slays me, I'm almost afraid. You're driving me crazy. I must be taste in the head. La di da. You do the darndest things, baby. But oh, you're so doggone cute with it all. <laughs> Sweetheart, darling. Why would you work fast? Well, I'm in a hurry. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm a kind of a busy man. You know, I've never been out with a coach before. Neither have I. I, I mean, I... <laughs> He's really enjoying it, the rat. My wife's all right, but she just doesn't understand me. I wondered how a good-looking man like you could be stuck with a crow like her. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Bessie, uh, I mean, uh, Sally, you're wonderful. You do something to me. This thing has gone far enough. Oh. 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 What is it? Ah, so I've got you at last. Now, wait a minute, honey. I can explain everything. Oh, yeah? Well, explain this. Lady... Ah! As for you, your little sheet, you'll hear from my lawyers. I'm going to sue him for divorce and name you as correspondent. Oh, no, no, you can't. I've never been out with him before, honest, Mrs. Winters. We haven't done anything wrong. You're my witness. Oh, please, please. I swear your husband doesn't mean a thing to me. In fact, I'm in love with somebody else. Who, the 7th Regiment? Uh-uh. Uh, Herbert Van Dyke, for instance? Yes, yes. Everybody knows we're practically engaged. Is she lying about this? She's been going out with him. Sari! 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 That's him now. Sounds like he's calling Hog. Must be paging you. Go on. But if I find out you're not engaged to him, I'll file my divorce papers in the morning. Well, that's that. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute, Mrs. Winters. Haven't you forgotten something? Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. There. Oh. You didn't have to suck me so hard, did you? Imagine what I'll do if I ever really catch you. Come on. Oh. What do you mean we can't sleep six in an upper bird? I got you, baby, dear. Yeah, ma. Come on, gang, let's get going. Hey! 
Say, where do we eat on this here train? Come on, let's go this way. Here to see us all. I only hope they're all here when we come back. Skating for the precious winters? Why, uh, yes. Uh, you can quote me as saying, uh, as Coach Winters boarded the train for New Haven, he said, my players are in fine physical and mental condition and uh, will fight to the last man for Texas. And on the uh, eve of battle, I feel very confident of victory. But uh, if we should lose, I... We will have no alibi. Come on. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, General. General, have we got time just for one song? I guess so. Swell. Come on. Oh, no, 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 right no. Now. no, no. We've written a special song, but we're saving it for the big game. Oh, come on. Mr. Chip, I got a song. Can I sing it? Well, would it make you happy, honey? Oh, it sure would. Then you sing it. Yeah. Come on. All right, come on. Let's go.
good, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sam Hayes speaking, bringing you a play-by-play -play account of the Great Iron Classic between Yale and Texas State. I'm looking down on a colorful and certainly a capacity crowd gathered here to see the little team from Perry fight it out with the Yale Bulldogs. While the weatherman says it's fair and warmer, it feels to me like it's freezing and getting ready to snow. But maybe I'm just a little thin-blooded. The Yale team has already come onto the field, or perhaps I should say the four Yale teams. They're running through their signals, and those boys look a little too big and tough for these Texas lads to handle. And here come the Texas boys back onto the field again. The Texans are in crimson jerseys with white sleeve bands and wearing white quartered head guards. They don't look very big, but... What I hear, they make up for their lack of weight with terrific speed. Sure is mighty chilly up here all of a sudden. I say it is. It ain't like down home. It's snowing. Yeah, and it isn't going to help us any. Why, it's cold. I'm freezing. Well, snow or no, here we go. And let the best team win. Well, it started to snow, but nobody around here seems to care. Yeah, we've won the toss, and it's going to kick off. Lining up in their positions now. Van Dyke, the Texas pass wizard, isn't in the starting lineup. Is he in there, Jerry, or is he? No. No, friends, he isn't in the starting lineup, but you can bet that Coach Winters will send him in at the first scoring opportunity.
That's the way they play football down in Texas, and very good, too. To review the play, Van Dyke faded back, tossed a long cannon past to Mather, and boy, how this Van Dyke can throw him. Mather snagged it and tossed a lateral to Connors, who ran across the goal line, standing up for a touchdown. Now, they're lining up to try the extra point. Oh, who cares? We've just started scoring. It's a great game, isn't it? Yeah. And there goes the gun ending the first half of this terrifically exciting gridiron battle. The score, Texas 6, Yale nothing, providing one of the biggest upsets of this season. The Texans, who weren't given a chance, have played magnificently. In the second quarter, the weather has slowed down their passing attack considerably. Did I mention that our snowstorm has turned into a blizzard? But defensively, their work was smart and stubborn. If Yale doesn't play heads-up football this last half, those six points will beat them. What's the matter with you boys, anyway? Why, that whole Texas outfit don't weigh four pounds more than a straw hat, and they're making monkeys out of you. You lose this game, and you'll be the laughing stock of the country. <laughs> and you, Sparks. I thought you were making up all that stuff about their passing. Well, can I help it if they believe everything they read? Oh, you... Now, folks, four of our boys will sing a song written especially for this occasion. Would you like to hear it? Tommy, we can't sing that song here. It don't fit. We didn't no, expect you know, this. We can't. No, we can't. Like, we can't. Will you listen to me, yeah. fellas? You can't embarrass me in front of all these people. Now go in there and sing it. Sing it good. But Tom, uh, go oh. on. We brought the Texas sunshine here with us. Isn't it fine? Look at it shine. There isn't a cloud up in the sky. The Texas sunshine brings good cheer with us. Oh, with lots of heat, we can't be beat. We're here to do or die. The boys of TSU are Western men who come to pull that bulldog stand. Hail Texas, you son of a gun. We brought the sun to sweat the bull and bull the lot of Yale. When Western men meet Eastern men, there's bound to be a storm. But in the West, we're at our best with the weather's nice and warm. So if the day was cold and gray, we'd have no chance to win. But it's not, cause it's hot, and we're starting to tell you again. We brought the Texas sunshine here with us. Isn't it fine? Look at the shine. There isn't a home side here with us. The Texas sunshine, this was my idea. But I didn't know that they'd have snow no haven in the fall. The, the boys in Yale will probably pray to us because we broke their bulldog's tail. Hail Texas, you son of a gun. We broke the sun to sweat the bull, the bull, the out of Yale. It's great, boys, it's great. You get those Yale guys dizzy. Now, don't forget what I told you. Keep it up. Don't let it down. Herbie, you were terrific. <laughs> Just slightly, boss. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Up and at them. And remember, a game isn't won until the final gun is fired. Come on, now. They're lining up the second half kickoff on a field completely snowed under. Yale will kick off to Texas. There's the whistle. <laughs> It's too slippery. 
That's the third time he's fumbled. Forrest, come in. Go in for Van Dyke. Hey, can you get the sound of the Texas coach? But, lady, I... It's very important. I'm his wife. Thanks, fella. Their star passer is now out of the game, which means that Texas has given up the offensive and is going to try to protect that six-point lead. Gale's ball. Well, friends, this is certainly one for the book. It's fourth quarter, and the Yale team hasn't been able to reach the Texas goal line. The score is still Texas six, Yale nothing, and Yale has the ball. Yards. Oh, that hurts. Texas is penalized 15 yards for piling on, and it puts Yale right down there within scoring distance. And if they're ever going to score, now's the time. Hey, you, come here. What's the big idea, you Robin? Hey, you, one more crack like that, and I'll penalize you another 15 yards. Where do you think you are anyway, in Texas? Ah, uh, you silly. Uh. Can I trouble you again to take this down to him? It's very important. Thanks. and ripping its way toward the Texas goal line, and Texas can't stop. as gallant a stand as I've ever seen. But they're in a tough spot now. And here comes the big moment of this man's football game. The score is tied 6-6. Six to six. Gale is lining up in front of those goalposts, and Evans is going to try to put that soggy, slippery pigskin between those uprights for that one little point that Gale needs to win. The ball is snapped. It's going to be a cold winter in Texas. We've still got a chance. Well, we really need a snowshoe. Ladies and gentlemen, my nerves are all in tatters. There's only enough time left for a couple of plays. Gale's holding onto that ball, praying for the final gun, but it's fourth down and they've got the kick. Hold it back in punch formation. <laughs> Covered that block kick, and this old ball game isn't over yet. Hey! <laughs> we still got a chance, Patterson! <laughs> Go in there and tell them to run a play over their left guard. Go ahead. We still got a chance. An unsportsmanlike conduct from the Texas bench. Fifteen yards. It's a penalty. Yes, sir. Five yards. Ten. Fifteen yards. What for? How do I know? Maybe it's my poor spelling. Isn't that awful? The Texas team has penalized fifteen yards for unsportsmanlike conduct from the Texas bench, and that looks like it's about the end of your old ball game. We haven't got a chance. We haven't got a chance. You haven't got a brain either. I haven't got a brain. What are you doing here? Suffering while you're throwing the game away. The only way. Now you, you keep out of this. Wilson. 
What's the matter? Every time. <laughs> back in. I think he's going to try a desperate last-minute pass. Wait a minute. What's this? Van Dyke's sitting down in the mud. Do my eyes deceive me? No, sir. He's taking off his shoes and stockings. Why, it's a sight you may never see again. The stories about him must be true. He likes to feel his toes grip the earth. He's getting ready to put everything he has into one long pass. The timekeeper has his gun ready to end the game. Van Dyke's getting up now. Everyone, we beat him, son! We won! Woo! Yeah! 